The storm raised over the movie Kashmir Files has reached the doorsteps of former Jammu and Kashmir Chief Minister Farooq Abdullah. In an exclusive interview with India Today's group editor publishing, Raj Chengappa, Abdullah blamed the VP Singh government for the exodus, which he called a blot on Kashmiriyat. Abdullah said 1990 exodus was a conspiracy and is ready to face any consequences if he is found guilty. The former Jammu and Kashmir Chief Minister slammed the film, claiming the movie is spreading hate against Muslims. Abdullah was the Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir days ahead of the mass exodus of Kashmiri Pandits. He is blamed for inaction during the radicalization of Kashmiri youth and fleeing Kashmir when the situation worsened. Asking you, what is your impression of this movie and what has it done? Well, I say that this movie is a propaganda movie. Uh, it has really raked up a tragedy of 1990. A tragedy which has affected every soul in this state, not only the Hindu brethren who had to leave this state, but also the Muslim majority who were greatly affected at that time. And it, was a, it was a sad situation, very sad, uh, because there was an element of parties that were interested in cleansing, ethnic cleansing, and some of the people played part in that ethnic cleansing. Now, uh, the movie itself seems to, partly seems to blame you as chief minister for not doing things and in fact being lax and allowing the situation to get out of hand. I don't think it's true. Because if the people want to know the truth, which is very bitter, the people who can tell them, rather than Farooq Abdullah explaining to them, I would like to tell them to talk to or read Dullat's book, who was then the uh, IB chief here in the state. Or talk to my chief secretary, Musa Raza, who is still alive, thank God, and living in Chennai. Talk to the governor of Kerala, uh, who is also at that time a minister in the central government, Arif Muhammad Khan. He will also like to, he should also apprise you of the things at that time. Because when the situation was such, and they wanted to release five of those people who we had caught, I refused to release them. This is when you're talking about uh, Rubaya Saeed's uh, kidnapping yes, yes, and the fact exactly. that it was held and you were chief minister yes, at that exactly time. exactly, I was chief minister. And uh, the gov government of India was led by VP Singh and his associates were also from BJP. They were supporting his government. So the point here was that I said to them, don't do it because it will be a terrible tragedy for the nation. A nation will pay a heavy price in future. They didn't listen. So much so, I, w I was told that if you don't do it, we will dismiss you. I said, give it to me in writing, that your cabinet has asked for this thing. Because what will happen now, it will be the last nail in the coffin of India, in this state. You are responsible for it now. Then, second incident that took place was when the plane was hijacked. And they wanted to take those three people from here. And to beg them, don't do it. This will be a great tragedy. You're talking of the Kandahar hijack or the earlier? Kandahar, Kandahar. Right. That was the uh, hijack plane that they did. And I said, we should not give in to terrorists. They gave in. And that is how all this thing, you know, blew up. Because they thought, well, if Russians can be thrown out of um, Afghanistan, we will be throwing India out of in, uh, Kashmir. And, and we paid a bitter price for it. And India today spoke to the then additional SP of Bhutgam and former DGP Jammu and Kashmir, SP Vaid. No mention of Exodus. No. Farooq Sahib is a very tall leader of Jammu Kashmir and um, jo, whatever he is saying must be on some uh, evidence. Uh, but what I saw at that time was uh, uh, slowly these things, incidents had started happening from 80. 
88, 89 uh, terrorist terrorist incidents had started happening. There was general atmosphere of fear in the Kashmir Valley, and ultimately, I think everyone uh, tries to save his life, and people felt scared after their prominent Kashmiri Pandit community people got targeted. So uh, there was a general scare, and uh, there were announcements. There were jaloos everywhere in Kashmir Valley. People were coming out. There was sloganing. There was um, a, a very strange uh, march frenzy was there, and uh, I think uh, all that created sense of insecurity for life and property. The Kashmir Files many say is a necessary reminder of the atrocities on Kashmiri pundits, a crucial step in the direction of getting them justice. With BJP giving it a push, the movie has created a stir among political parties. Many political leaders say the movie has reopened old wounds and created new fault lines. Here is a detailed report. <laughs> The Kashmir Files, many say, is a necessary reminder of the atrocities on Kashmiri pundits. A critical step in the direction of getting them justice. Many others say that the movie has reopened old wounds and created new fault lines. We are very thankful to you. The film by director Vivek Agnihotri that depicts the exodus of Kashmiri pundits from the valley after targeted killings by terrorists has stirred up a political controversy. The BJP is actively pushing for the Kashmir Files, calling the movie a reality that has made it into real. Kashmir Files ki jo haqeeqat hai, jiski sachchai hai, usse dekh kar ke jo bauklaye hue hain, to unko jinna bhi yaad aa jayega. Lekin is baat ko unhe swikar karna padega ki unke guna aaj sar chal kar ke desh ke samne bol rahe hain, un parivaron ke, un partiyon ke guna. The opposition parties differ. Congress leader from the Valley, Gulam Nabi Azad, called the movie a one-sided story. Such to show truth, to exaggerate, and to show truth, and to show the balance. If you have shown it, I believe that I am myself. But other communities have been killed. They should also be shown. NCP chief Sharad Pawar called the movie divisive and avoidable. <laughs> CPM General Secretary Sita Ram Yachuri claims the film can create a situation that harms the country's social unity and integrity. Telangana Chief Minister KCR accused the BJP of using the Bollywood for political gains. And the other thing is that the Kashmir Files is coming to the people who are making a vote for 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 the people who are Actor Amir Khan said he was happy with the film and urged every Indian to watch the film. So, Kashmir में जो कश्मीरी पंडितों के साथ हुआ है वो यकीनन बहुत ही दुख की बात है और ऐसी एक फिल्म जो बनी है उस टॉपिक पे वो यकीनन हर हिंदुस्तानी को देखना चाहिए और हर हिंदुस्तानी को यो याद करना चाहिए कि एक इंसान पे जब उसपे अत्याचार हो तो क्या बीतती है? The Kashmir Files has sharply divided opinion. The question remains. Is the film a factual portrayal of the events that saw thousands of Kashmiri pundits leave their homes to live a life of refugee in their own country? Bureau Report, India Today.